PGA Tour Latino America, the third round of the Casa de Campo Dominican Republic Open from the teeth of the dog. Let's start on the third hole. Rodrigo Lee of Brazil, nice fluffy lie just off the edge of the green at the par five third. 541 yards, he was there in two, sets himself up for a look at birdie and a chance to get to six under par. Brushes that in nicely and Lee among the top 10 on the leaderboard. To the 14th, Ken Looper, who had the lead after the second round. Third shot now at the par 5 14th. Off the green. Bogey the 11th, looking to get even on the inward half with a putt right at 10 feet. A chance to get to seven under par. Looper would make that. He would drop a shot at the 18th, so he would come in six under par. Now to Sebastian McLean of Bolivia, seven under par, an eagle from inside of 15 feet. So he reached in two and then knocked that in for an eagle three. Back to the sixth hole, Timothy O'Neill, four under par, his second at the par four sixth. O'Neill on the front side, birdied the opening hole but gave away two shots at four and five. Now trying to set himself up to at least clean up the card a little bit. This is a chance to even up the round. Just off that little brow, downhill putt, and he makes it from 15 feet away. So that gets him back to level on the day. 67 in the second round, trying to score another round in the 60s. Eight under par as he comes to the par 5 14. Birdies at 11 and 12, on the move. And this one just barely clearing the hazard. Leaves it below the flag, and now a look at Eagle. And Timothy O'Neill jumps to 10 under par. He would have two more birdies coming in, but also would give something back at 18. Rafael Ekenike, seven under par at the par 5 14th. Had a strong start to his day, opened with four birdies, setting himself up for another here at the par 5. Racing up the leaderboard, he would come in and three under par, getting to nine under in total, and he shares the lead with Timothy O'Neill heading into the final day of play.